Hey guys, Professor here, P-R-O-F-E-S-S-O-A-R, -S -S uh, coming at you with a uh, highly requested tutorial today, a loop recording, a uh, loop recording with the MPK Mini or with any other MIDI device you may have. So we are going to go into that today. So as you can see here, we have FL Studios loaded, well I'm probably screen recording so I don't know why I'm showing you on the video, and we have our MPK Mini plugged in and hooked up. If you don't know how to hook it up yet, please go check out my tutorial on how to hook up your MPK Mini and tips for using it. That'll get you set up for some loop recording today, all right? So loop recording is fairly easy. Um, I'm gonna show you it live right now, actually. But first things first you need to know is where your record button is, how to record, and... Um, how to get it to loop and not overwrite your other stuff, all right? So to loop record, or first to record with any MIDI thing, you need to make sure your audio settings are set pretty latency free. So you need to put your buffering size down real low if you can. That way things respond almost instantly. You're gonna hear this now. All right. So things are going to be pretty, respond pretty fast when you tap them. All right. So next thing we need to do is turn on our metronome. We need to turn on blend recording. So right here, what this does is it allows you to play notes over each other while you're creating. So they don't overwrite. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. It's important when clicking the loop record button. Check that out. All right, so next thing you need is to make sure you have your different sound generators you want. You have your sound bank for your drums. All right, sorry, I'm just playing around. Um, your 808s if you want to. I usually have those separate. Um, get yourself like a soft synth and get yourself like a lead. All right, so now I will demonstrate loop recording for you. Now remember our basic things on our MPK Mini, our keys, our drum pads, um, our knobs, which you can set to automate certain things if you go to my tutorial about that um, as well. Uh, there is one button on here that makes it so everything you hit is max velocity. I believe it's... It's this one right here, full level. If you hit that, everything you hit will be max velocity. Um, so that's up to you how you want to use it. Uh, if you have any other uh, MIDI controllers, you could probably see if they have special uh, kinds in here for you, like Novation Launchpad, so it'll take advantage of some of your other shortcuts. But I just have my generic, and I have it mapped out the way I like it. All right, so let's get set to record a beat, guys. We have our sound generators. We have our thing set to loop record. We have our blend record. We have our MIDI responding to everything. And we have our tempo on. And we can turn that off when we feel like it. So now I guess I'll just put this here so you guys can see what I'm doing, both on the screen and on the MPK. All right. Oh, also, one more quick tip. If you go up here, you can quantize your inputs. So this will quantize when they come in. and I'm gonna have mine to one fourth step. Okay, record, notes in automation. Now next time we hit play, it's gonna record over our newest 
chant our newest um you know a pattern that we created you ready So in essence, that's loop recording. Of course, my timing is a little off on stuff, but now you can go in and fix everything. So what I would do from here, if I were you guys, is I would right click the pattern and I would split it by channel. What that's gonna do is split this whole pattern into four different patterns because we have four different sound generators or channels. Split by channel. So now you're gonna see this. See, our 808, our drums, our soft synths, and our lead. So now, well, let's listen to this, and then I'll do a quick minute of cleaning up and show you guys the difference. <laughs>
guys. So now, as you can see, we just made a beat in one second. But yeah, guys, so that's how you use loop recording. And pretty much with a little bit of cleanup, you guys have yourself a full beat like this. <laughs> And since you split them up by channel, you guys can use these different patterns in different parts. And then of course, loop record on different progressions and um, different stages of the song. So that's how you loop record. This is also gonna be the intro to a new series I'm gonna be doing each week, which is just gonna be five minute beats, where I'm just gonna set up sounds and profiles, and we're gonna be just making a beat in five minutes and then cleaning them up. And you guys can check them out, practice, shit like that. But that's loop recording. I hope you guys have a good day. This has been Professor, P-R-O-F-E-S-S-O-A-R. -S -S Make sure to check out SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, Pond5, pretty much everything. And make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification bar and like the video if this got helped out, guys. If you have any more questions, leave them down below and I can clarify with answers or make a continued video as well. I'm sure we're gonna have some questions pop up here and there. All right, guys, take it easy and Peace.